Okay, let's talk about percent. And percent is probably one of the most basic math skills that you need to know, not only in school, but in real life. But here is a nice little problem just to kind of check to see how well you know percent. And the question is, 8 is 23% of what number? So my question to you is, can you figure this out? Well, uh, feel free to use a calculator and put your answer into the comment section. But here's the thing. Um, the only thing I would ask is don't guess. Don't like say, well, I can do this to this number or maybe do this number. Be really confident about your answer because you can get lucky and get the right answer. And um, additionally, the way I do this problem, the way I'm going to solve this problem may be entirely different than the way you solved it because there is a couple different ways you can learn percent in terms of the procedures or techniques to solve percent problems. As long as you know how to pre solve percent problems, you learned it by whatever your teacher taught you way back in the good old days. Some of you might have been the 1970s, 1980s, maybe that was last year. It doesn't make a difference. As long as you're confident in your ability to solve various percent problems, stick with that way. But of course, if you're confused about how to solve a problem like this, I'm going to show you what I'm going to uh, suggest as the recommended way to solve these type of percent problems. Problems. But uh, we're going to get into all this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and I've been teaching math for decades. And over those years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, and you're struggling in your math courses, believe me, I can help you out. Just check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. I have a ton of courses that will likely match up to what you're studying, and you can kind of explore my math help programs from there. Also, if you're preparing for some sort of test with a math section, things like the GED, SAT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, I have excellent middle and high school level mathematics courses that can help you out. Uh, if you need some math notes, and everyone needs math notes, it's impossible to learn math without notes. One, you should be taking your own notes, but if you need a good pair of reference notes, I'm going to leave links to mine in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, consider helping me out by liking and subscribing. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this percent problem again. Percent is probably one of the most important basic math skills that you need to know, not only for school, but for real life. So this is important stuff. But um, let's go ahead and give you one last opportunity to pause the video and put your answer into the comment section because I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to solve this problem right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to translate this verbal sentence, and let's go ahead and just read this here. It says, 8 is 23% of what number? Well, I'm going to use something called algebra. Now, some of you might not like algebra, but algebra is an awesome mathematics. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to translate this English sentence, this verbal sentence, into a mathematical sentence. So let's go ahead and see how I'm going to do this. So 8, okay, um, of course I'm going to write the, the uh, number 8. 8 is, now the word is in mathematics is the equal symbol, okay, the equal sign. So this, anytime you see is, think equal sign is like is equal to. So 8 is equal to, so I'm just kind of going left to right. 8 is, or is equal to, 23%. Now, 23%, what I'm going to do is write this as a decimal. So this particular problem is a little bit more advanced than a basic um uh, a basic percent problem, but just so you know, to convert a, a percent to a decimal, we just simply take this uh, percent, this number right here, and divide this by 100. So this is going to be equal to 0.23. Now, another way to think of that is 23% is the same thing as 23.0%, and the uh, result of dividing anything by 100 is you just move that decimal point over two places to the left. Either way, you need to understand that 23% as a decimal is 0.23. So hopefully uh, this uh, jars your memory and you're like, oh yeah, now I remember that. So let's go ahead and continue on. So 8 is 23% or 8 is equal to 0.23 of what number? And in algebra, 
uh, when I don't know a number, like what number, I can use a variable like x. Okay, so how do we find the percent of a number? If I wanted to find 6% of 20, for example, I turn that percent into a decimal. This will be 0 0.06, and you multiply by that number. Okay, so 6% of 20 is the same thing as 0 0.06 times 20. You need to understand this basic percent fact in order to do uh, this particular problem, as this is a little bit more of an interesting percent problem. But here, it's pulled together everything that I wrote um, uh, in my translation. So 8 is equal to 0.23 times x, okay? Or 0.23, 23% of some number x is the same thing as 0.23 times some number x. I just know that that 23% of this number, or 0.23 times that number, is equal to 8, okay? So what I'm left with is a nice, lovely equation right here. 8 is equal to 0.23x, and what I want to do is solve for x. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this right now. All right, so 8 is equal to 23% or 0.23 uh, times uh, some number x. So if I was to take 23% of some number x, it's going to be equal to 8. So how do I solve for x? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and rewrite this as 0.23x is equal to 8. So just remember, when you're solving an equation, um, it's generally we like to have the variable on the left-hand side. So just, you know, don't get... Uh, too confused about this. Remember, the left is equal to the right, and the right is equal to the left. So you can rewrite one side of the equation on the other side. In other words, you can flip these sides. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to put uh, this as 0.23x is equal to 8. It's the same thing. Now I want to solve for this variable x. How do I do that? Well, i got to divide both sides of the equation by 0.23. Of course, you need to know how to solve basic algebraic equations. So x is going to be equal to 8 divided by 0.23. And when you go into your calculator, you're going to get a long decimal, but I'm going to kind of round it off to this, 34.782. Okay, so that is our answer. And uh, really, this is an estimation. So technically, you would put the little approximate symbol there because this goes on and on and on. So we'll go ahead and just leave our answer for this. So you should have gotten around 34.782 if you're able to do this correctly on your own. And if you got this answer or something pretty close to it, then I must go ahead and give you a nice little lovely happy face, an A++ and a 100% for being an awesome math student. Again, if you did it in a completely different way, as long as you're like, no, I know exactly how to solve this type of problem, that's what counts, okay? But let's go ahead and check this answer here, uh, 34.782. So let's go back to our original problem. Um, 8 is 23% of what number? Well, we now we know that number. It's 34.782. Okay, now that's an estimate because we did kind of round off a few decimal uh, places here. But let's go ahead and check this. Well, if I take 23% of this number now, 34.782, what's that going to be equal to? Well, 23% of this number is going to be equal to 0.23. Remember, we take that 23% and turn it into a decimal, so that's 0.23, and we'll multiply it by that number, 34.782. And when we um, plug this into our calculator, we get 7.9999, and of course, we get some other decimals as well, but you can see we're pretty much uh, right there at eight, okay? Now, the reason why this is an 8.0 is because this decimal here uh, we did round uh, that off, okay? So remember, the more you round off a decimal, okay, the less accurate your final answer is going to be, but your teacher um, understands this. So as long as uh, you you know, have at least, uh, at least two decimal points, that's um, you know, what I would consider an accurate answer. You just don't want to put a whole number in there. But uh, anyways, you can see it does work out. So 7.999 is effectively... Uh, pretty close to 8, so this does work out. That's the one thing about mathematics that's pretty awesome is that you can always check your work, okay? So if you do have time, like if this was a test or a quiz question and you understand all this, you should take the time to check your final answers. But again, the bigger point here is this. Percent is extremely important, not only in uh, just mathematics, but in practical real life. You can't open... 
up your, I was going to say a newspaper, nobody looks at a physical newspaper anymore. Well, maybe some of you do, but you can't, you know, turn on the TV, look at your cell phone without seeing this percent, uh, percent symbol, you know, with all the discussion about the economy, inflation, or things are on sale, or prices are going up, or mortgage interest rates are going up. This is the symbol that uh, is right there in the news every day, that percent symbol. So the more you know about percent, the better off you're going to be. Now, for those of you that need additional help um, with basic mathematics like percent and maybe fractions, I'm going to suggest um, a couple courses. One, uh, my pre-algebra course, I get into all this and much, much more. But if you're really looking for a look and a little mini review of the basics, I would strongly recommend my Math Foundations course. Um, that's a little micro course. I think it's um, three chapters. But I go over percent. I go over fractions. I go over a lot of foundational basic mathematical operations and arithmetic, etc. So you can get, you can find all this by checking out my math help program. And um, uh, so depending on where you're at, if you're looking for uh, a review for basic mathematics, I would suggest that. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.